What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with part two of the stabbing myself with a screwdriver. Hey, hope you guys enjoy it, drop a like if you do, and if you guys haven't seen part one yet, the link for that will be at the top of the description. Go click that, take a look, you're gonna wanna see that, because you're not gonna understand what in the hell is going on here if you don't, so go click that. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. What are you waiting on? We got bangers dropping all the time. And also, go check out the Goblin merch site. Hey, we got all types of merch. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. We got mugs. We got phone cases. Everything's affordable, baby. You know what it is. Hey, now that I got these medical bills to pay, I'm really going to need this merch to move. Hey, man. Hey, come buy this merch, baby. Hey, hey, come buy out this stock, baby. Hey, now, hey. Come invest. Hey, Goblin merch is only going up in price. Honestly, dude. It's like buying a po it's like buying a Rolex, you know, like a vintage Rolex. It's only going up, boys. For real. Yeah, hey, don't miss it. You're gonna regret missing it. I'm telling you right now. Links in the description. Hey, without further ado, let's dive right into it. So this took place, obviously, just a few days ago, and in the last video, in part one, we had left off right as I ended my first night. So we're going to start off, of course, when I wake up, right? So I wake up the next morning, and I'm fiending right off the bat. You know, the night prior, I, I took a couple dabs off my G-Pen, and they had me on all sorts of medication. But the next morning I wake up, and I'm just, I feel like a shit bucket, dude. I feel like absolute dog meat, bro. I feel fucking horrible, dude. And I remember my nurse comes in, and she checks my vitals and does all this stuff. She gave me some medication, like some, I don't know what it was. She gave me something in the morning, you know, and she's like, oh, your breakfast will be here in an hour. And I asked the nurse, I'm like, yo, can I shower? Like, is it cool if I go take a shower? Right. And she's like, yeah, no problem. Go ahead. Right. So I'm like, bet. Say less. Perfect. I'll go take a shower. Right. So she leaves my room after taking my vitals. And I'm like, all right, this is it. You know, I got to I got to get over to the shower. I got to take some dabs. You know, like I'm, I'm sober as fuck. I need to smack this G pen. Right. So. I get, I attempt to get out of bed, right? And at this point, my left leg was virtually immobile. Like, I had to wiggle my left leg. I couldn't really bend my knee at all. It was really difficult to get out of bed. It was like a five to ten minute ordeal. But eventually, I get out of bed and I'm standing with the walker. You know, of course, with the help of a walker, I look like an old ass man. And the other thing is, bro, listen... The hospital gowns, for some reason, the strings on the back would not stay tied, no matter what I did. So I ended up showing these nurses my bare ass, like, all the time, bro. They were definitely checking out some cheeks. I couldn't help it, dude. I literally, like, like I kept retying it, dude. It would just come undone every time, bro. The worst gown ever. But either way, I get up. My shit's undone, just flapping around, dude. I'm just like, fuck it, bro. It's like 6 a.m., dude. If she comes in, whatever, you know. If she comes back, you came back too early, whatever. You know, I'm not tying this shit again. So I go over and I grab my G-Pen, right? I grab my G-Pen and I kind of hobble over to the bathroom. And I get in there and I already knew the procedure, you know. I did it the night before. It wasn't that huge of a deal. So I sit in there and I get the shower going. And... You know, I, I figured that the floor was on an incline with this shower, right? How this bathroom was set up is you walk in and, like, the bathroom is the shower, the whole thing. Like, there's a curtain, yeah, but, like, you know, you got your toilet, your sink, and then there's just in the middle of the room just, like, a shower head with a drain on the floor, right? So I turned the shower on just to get some noise and some steam going while I dab. I figured it would maybe help hold in the smell a little bit, you know? So I turned that on, and I sit down on the toilet, right? I didn't really think things through very well. I sit down on the toilet. I've got my walker over to the right, and I have my socks. I take my socks off, and I, I put them in my gown on the floor by the door. You know, I figure, obviously, the floor's got to be on an incline, like, or so I thought. So, obviously, none of my stuff is getting wet. Obviously, that's not what the fuck happened, all right? This bathroom got hectic, okay, boys? So... I'm sitting on the toilet, and I'm loading up my G-Pen. You know, I kind of hobble over to the shower, and I get a little bit of the shower water into the G-Pen. There's a little tube. You got to get a little water in it. So I get my water in there, and then I go sit back down on the toilet very slowly, right? And I load up a little dab, and I'm chilling out. I smack my first dab. You know, it's all fine and dandy. And, you know, the G-Pen, listen... No disrespect, cool product, but, like, I, I, I'm used to sitting at home taking fat dabs on my e-nail. 
one dab off the G pen will just never get me where I want. Like, I don't care what strain it is. It just, it cannot hold enough wax, right? So, obviously, I need to take a few. So, I've got my G pen. I'm smacking a few of these dabs, you know, just back to back. I got the Great Hata, which has recently become one of my favorite concentrate strains. I really like it, actually. Uh, and then I also had some GG4 in there with me, and I was just switching up. I even mixed it up at one point. I took about four dabs sitting on the toilet. And once it came time for my fourth dab, I was pretty stoned. I can't lie, you know? The night before, I got a little bit baked, but that morning, I got fucking lit, boys. I Maybe it was just not smoking the day prior and then sleeping on it it could have also been the first smoke of the day factoring in but like boys i was lit dude i was feeling wonderful so i take these dabs and as i'm taking my fourth dab i remember i set my case for my g pen on the ground on top of my clothes right and I'm getting ready to shower, and I notice that my feet are wet, which is odd because I'm sitting on the toilet, which is in the corner of the room that is, that is way closer to the door than it is to the shower head. So I'm like, wait, like, that's odd. And I look over, and my shit is drenched, bro. My socks are soaked. My robe is fucking soaked. The, like, literally, the bat, like the water is almost flooding out into the hospital room at this point. And I realize, like, yo, there's, there's just a hole in the floor for a drain with no incline. Like, like, what fucking mouth breather designed this bathroom, dude? Like, what the fuck is this? So I realize, I kind of panic. I'm like, oh, fuck. You know, and I scoop up all my wet shit. I go throw it in the sink, you know, and I, I'm moving slowly. You know, I'm trying to recover my stuff, but, like, I'm trying to maintain my balance as well because the floor is wet, and I'm on one leg with a walker, you know? Like, shit's getting, ha I'm slipping and sliding all across the room. I'm trying to stay balanced. My fucking nuts are shriveling up from the cold. Dude, I just want to get this over over with all right like it, it, listen it was warm in there but it was cold at the same time because it was a big ass bathroom there was different breezes coming from different places so listen one moment i get a nice warm mist from the shower next moment bam dude vent hit my scrotum it's fucked dude it's absolutely in trouble down there you know it was risky but either way i end up solving the whole the whole wet clothes problem i throw all my damp shit in the sink and i finally take my shower nice and stoned right i finish up my shower and i get out and I wring out my clothes as best as I can. I just hop back in bed, dude. And I'm chilling out, and they bring me my breakfast. And I'll admit, this hospital had god-awful food. Like, I've been to a decent share of hospitals. This one, by far, takes the cake. It, it wasn't just hospital food, because hospital food is usually edible. Like, this food was literally inedible. Like, the pancakes tasted foul. Like, they literally tasted expired. It was really gross. But the one good thing was the eggs. They gave me some decent eggs, bro. I know they were just the powder bullshit ones. I didn't care. I was so hungry, I annihilated them. Absolutely annihilated them, right? So I'm fucking, dude, I'm, I'm just destroying these shits, right? Fine and dandy. That's all done, whatever, right? Eventually, the nurse comes back, collects my shit, gives you another IV, and then the doctor comes in. And at this point, Miss Goblin came back, right? My, my lady, you know, my girlfriend, she she stayed home uh, overnight, of course, because due to COVID, they can't, they're not having overnight visitors. You know, they, they kick people out. But she came back the next morning, and, you know, listen, I told her to bring my switch. She forgot that shit, so I was kind of bored. I was just watching River Monsters, dude. It was honestly pretty lame. But the doctor came in and told me I was getting discharged. So I was like, my man. Say less, dude. Let's fucking go, boys. I'm getting out of the jam. I'm getting out of the pen, dude. First day out, dropping the track soon, you know? So I, I was excited. And he's like, yeah, dude, we'll probably be letting you out of here, you know, within the next couple hours. Obviously, that's not what happened. I got out that day, but it took like five fucking hours. But either way, he, he tells me, and I'm like, bet. Sounds good, doc. So, you know, I kind of, I'm, I'm cheered up. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm excited to get out. And they bring my lunch around. And for lunchtime, right... Once they brought that around a little bit, I was really out of it, okay? I was really out of it. So I've got this burger, right? And, and the, like, my, my lunch on the second day was just a cheeseburger and fries, which it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. So I eat this cheeseburger and these fries, and they have what I thought was a salad on the side. So I open this container, and I start eating my salad. And I realize, I'm like, boys, why is there pickles on my salad? And I, 
I mean, I realized very quickly those were meant to be the toppings for my burger, and I I just devoured all the toppings on their own, separate from the burger. So, uh, listen, dude, I at that point, I knew it was time to go home, all right? At, at that very point, I was like, all right, you know, send send me packing, Doc. I've had enough, dude. I'm losing my fucking mind in this madhouse, dude. This fucking cuckoo institution, dude. Get me out, dude. So I'm sitting there after eating goddamn fucking pickles and shit as a salad. I'm sitting there. I'm waiting to get out, dude. And they have complications with my prescriptions, right? It's coming time. And the second day, you know, I was much more sober. They didn't have me all drugged up. I still hurt like a bitch. They didn't have me all drugged up, you know? And I'm waiting for my prescriptions to get filled. And while I'm waiting for that, the physical therapy girls come in right it's these two girls i don't know what fucking prick bastard hired these whores to come in my room and do this but they come in my room they get me on the crutches and they say all right my man you're going up and down the staircase listen i'll go up and down the hallway all day and i'll go up and down the elevator all day but it's day one after surgery and they're sending me up the stairs they're sending me up the concrete stairs dude like it's not like they they took me to some nice little physical therapy room and they're like oh now see if you can apply pressure now no they took me to the cold dimly lit stairwell and said fucking get up there dude and then make figure out how to get back down dude if you need help hey we'll we'll catch you you know hey they fucked me dude i was like come on man hey you don't have to do me like this so of course that irritates the fuck out of my leg right like i get back to the room and now my leg hurts like a bitch so i'm sitting there and i'm like debating on asking for painkillers but i was thinking i was like dude if i like indicate that i'm in more pain and keep asking i feel like they're just gonna not discharge me and i want to get the fuck out you know i have videos to make i have shit to do i want to stream i want to game i want to be an idiot i want to smoke weed i gotta get the fuck out of this hospital right so I'm sitting in this bed, and I'm holding my knee, and I'm just moaning, dude. Like, it hurt, bro. Going, Especially going up, dude. Going up the stairs hurt, dude. That shit was a bitch, bro. But either way, I'm sitting there, you know, in this hospital bed, and I'm just fucking waiting. And finally, they get my prescriptions ready. They come in, and they announce the grand finale. They say, my man, get the fuck out of this hospital, dude. So I'm like, hey, no problem, right? So... I get all my stuff together, and I get out, right? Miss Goblin's with me. She goes and pulls the car up to the entrance. I get wheelchaired out, feeling like a VIP. And I get out to my car, and I realize that I left my phone in the room, right? So I, I hobble back into the lobby, and I go up to the front desk, and I'm like, hey, I forgot my phone in the room. I just got discharged. Like, is there any way, like, you could maybe have, like, a nurse bring it or something? Like, like someone run it down or something, you know, because I kind of can't really move. And she's like, oh, yeah, one second. So she's sitting there, and then she's like, oh, yeah, you can go look if you want. She's trying to make me go look, dude. I'm crippled, okay? The people at this hospital didn't care, all right? I'm, I'm standing in front of this woman, freshly discharged. She just watched me go out of the same door that I now just had to come back in. She just watched me get wheeled out. And she said, yeah, man, honestly, go up to the ninth floor and fucking find your shit, dude. Like, hey, honestly, fuck yourself, all right? But, hey, I, I went out there. I got Miss Goblin. She found it for me. I got my phone. And we skedaddled out of the jam. And also, I want to address this real quick. I got an unusual... Listen... Every video I make, I get a lot of comments calling the story fake. Whatever, all right? But the last video, part one of this, I got, like, an unusual amount of comments calling that fake. There's literally staples in my—there's holes in my leg, right? There was a plush-shaped Phillips screwdriver indent in my kneecap right now, boys. All right? That we showed on stream yesterday. Hey, if you were there, you're there, dude. Hey, if you're hip, you're hip, boys. Hey, if and I, it just shocks me that out of all the videos on my channel, you know, the, we we got people who are watching like the crack video. They're like, yeah, that's fine. You know, they see like my my fucking crack review. They're like, yeah, yeah, that's probably a good take. They see the fucking screwdriver. They're like, goblin, dude, this is cap, dude. <laughs> this is where the lines drawn. I don't know, dude. I had to point that out. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Copy yourself some goblin merch. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, gamers.